All right. Well, thank you so much for uh, joining us in this uh, third part of the Summer Solstice Seminar. And this is going to be the, uh, the Miracle Work 2 class. And uh, uh, we are all familiar with it. Like we probably all know how this class takes place, which is we come together, relax into the stillness that is there uh, by being guided um, with some instruction, some teaching, and with with yeah relaxing into um, say relaxing into the remembrance of our true purpose, and um, from there we start to as I have to let someone in. From there, uh, this so that. Um, uh, we have a moment. Oh, we will all have a moment if you feel like that to to share something or s if you want to share something that really inspires you at this point or in this seminar or um, you want to bring something up for healing where you want to just stand still with that and, and let it be undone together with us. And um, so it will show itself what you want to share you know you don't have to make something up and if you don't feel like sharing that is fine too or if you just want to stay in quiet that is perfectly appropriate too but this is another opportunity to to give to one another and to um, say to really yeah receive what is what is possible um, I really have to close a window here because it's a bit noisy out there. One moment. All right, so I start today um, with the voice for God. And that is, that is a very common theme in that sense where we uh, read about a lot and where we talk about a lot. And um, I'm going to use it in this in this class, in this uh, coming together of us, in a bit of a different way. Because now, basically, you can immediately, say, exemplify the listening by, by okay, standing in the spotlight, so to speak, s sharing that with us. Like, hey, this is what I feel coming up uh, in this moment to share. So it's like you... It is not that it have to be words, but it's more like you're, you're in, yeah, whatever you feel like coming up through you, let it just uh, flow. So that is, that's already a little instruction. So f before we do that, um, I just want to take you, so to speak, take you to the place where we actually receive this, and that is... Um, coming to a place of stillness inside of us by letting go of ideas that we hold about what we're doing here or where this is for or important things that are, say, bugging your mind, um, your concerns and all that. You can leave that behind in this uh, coming together of us. You know, so you will not need it today. You will not need it in this, um, in this meeting. So, and that is quite a relief, isn't it? It is like, well, this is a real opportunity to come into the stillness of ourselves just just by making the choice. Like, yes, okay, I don't have to do anything else. I don't have to uh, think about my problems or I don't have to solve anything. No, it goes even further than that. Like that is just in the way at this point for you to have an experience of your fullness and also for you to have an experience of what the voice for God is because like you're always you're always listening to a voice you know it cannot not be so so you're always listening only one voice is leading you into stillness and joy and the other one is not at all you know so and, and it's on a moment by moment basis it's your choice to which voice you're going to listen but you can only hear one at a time so that's really good to know so we'll see that in this in this chapter five healing and wholeness say section d it is the voice for god so we will use that i will send it to you afterwards and you can read it again it is a beautiful section of chapter five from the word text of a course in miracles 
and um, we will use that as a say as a red thread through this um, through this teaching today. So, but see, it starts with your experience. It starts with your awareness. Where are you? Where are you listening to? This is continuously the question for you. You know, it's like, oh, where am I listening to? Oh, wow, I was really distracted, or whatever it is. You know, but distraction is a very common thing to happen because there seems to be so much that can distract you from actually becoming still and listening and receiving, just letting the happiness bubble up in you just because it is a possibility, because you can do that. So this is a really good time to practice that too. It's like, okay, yeah, wait a minute. Oh, yeah, sigh a little bit. Oh, my God, unbelievable. What an opportunity. I can sink into myself and become still and listen and and relax into that like there's nothing else that i need to do at this mo in this moment I, there's nothing else i need to do so okay i let it go i don't need to hold on to it in order for my existence or anything no so that is the beauty of of this coming together of us remembering the true purpose that we have and also the true opportunity of listening to the voice see and we read this too in the gifts of God. It's like the it comes to you in exactly the way that it should. You know, you ask for something and it is going to be revealed to you in a way that you can understand. So it is it is never screaming, it is never say forcing you into anything. It is always completely say sustaining your freedom. And that's why it feels really good to listen to it. It is always confirming your connectedness with everything that is. And that is so great. Like the still small voice, we listen to it. And the voice doesn't necessarily speak with words, not at all. No. It can come to you in a way that you can understand, in a way that works for you. That's why I started with the idea of it starts with your experience of all of that. I can tell you whatever, but it's not where this is about. Now it's knowing where you find yourself with this and seeing what resonates with you, literally as an instruction, what resonates with you or what teases you out of your, say, out of your comfort zone of not listening to the voice for God thinking that that is really giving you something giving you the opportunity to to be quiet or to to know the answers already in your life about how to solve certain problems or how to deal with certain affairs so none of that is going to be helpful in the end so you will have to say learn to step back out of that and listen to what is given and you can do that, like you can still do your daily activities as you are used to. And so let me read something, then you, you will know how this sounds in the chapter 5. It is possible, even in this world, to hear only that voice and no other. It takes effort and great willingness to learn. It is the final lesson that I learned and God's sons are as equal as learners as they are as souls. The voice of the Holy Spirit is the call to atonement or the restoration of the integrity of the mind. When the atonement is complete and the whole sonship is healed, there will be no call to return, but what God creates is eternal. The Holy Spirit will remain with the sons of God to bless, to bless their creations and keep them in the light of joy. See, it is possible even in this world to hear only that voice. See, and this is what you want to learn. This is what you want to learn. You want to be in communication. You want to know what the right thing to do for you is. You want to stay out of conflict and out of doubt and out of comparison, and out of, yeah, thinking that you know something while you actually feel the uncertainty coming up. You know, so it's like a real choice not to be in fear anymore at the same time, too, to listen. But see, that I, I compared this many times uh, with the idea of fear 
or um, anxiety or anything like that. I compare this a lot with the idea of substance abuse. Like your whole physical system is can be programmed in this. You know that you that you need a kick of adrenaline or whatever to to feel alive. And that sounds a bit weird if I say it like this, but there are many that that had this before or still have it where you suddenly discover like oh my god i'm i'm still looking f for a thrill in that like i'm still looking i really don't want the conflict but i don't know how to get out of it it seems to be coming back all the time so that that's why i say like there's an addictive part in it for for your physical system even too to come into the, a pattern of that and um so then to listen to the voice of God is impossible. You know, that's you, you all know this. If you if you are in a shock, you know, if you are in a shock, the hardest thing for you is to calm down and actually start to listen. It is what you try maybe when something has happened, when something appeared to have happened. And you you quiet down, you take a sip of water or whatever it is, and suddenly you feel your heartbeat slowing down to its normal pace again. And then like, oh my God, what was that? What actually happened? And then it appears to be nothing that happened or maybe something that ap yeah, appears to be something. <laughs> but anyway, it's like you know the uh, when your heart starts beating a little extra. And uh, if this is on a daily basis and you think like, oh, yeah, I recognize that from myself. Like, oh, before I know it, I... I have suddenly this call where, where I get this information or some somebody is yelling at me or doing this and this and that to me. I suddenly feel uh, my heart race and I wonder why, how can I get out of this? See, this is uh, with coming into the training or the say showing your willingness to receive the voice for God is then to, to stay alert and being willing to receive um stillness instead of anything else to receive quietness and peace instead of um, its direct opposite you know so that is that is the invitation connected to the idea of the voice for god like you can come out of this pattern only by listening so the the way that you are used to responding to situations or affairs or yeah events and the way that you're used to doing that, you can only come out of it by listening, by following guidance, by asking for it. And and that will be your only way out because you don't know how to do it. Otherwise, you would already have done it. And no, you didn't do it yet. You know, it's like, no, I didn't do that yet. My, I have to listen really well because now this is my opportunity to to leave my old ways behind and let myself be guided out of this specific situation that I'm in because I would love it to be resolved. I would love to listen to a voice that actually knows what's going on, to actually uh, who actually knows of happiness and joy and pure communication with every aspect of creation. No, that's where the happiness is. That's where the joy is. That's where. Everything is going to be given to you. You are the kingdom of heaven, but you have let the belief in darkness enter your mind, and so you need a new light. The Holy Spirit is the radiance that you must let to banish the idea of darkness. His is the glory before which dissociation falls away. And the kingdom of heaven breaks through into its own. Before the separation you did not need guidance. So it's like post-separation guidance. Like before, if, if you are in a pure communication with, with your creator, there, there is no conflict at all. And this is the situation that you're returning to it's like my home awaits me i will hasten there it's one of the prayers that we just read it's like yeah that's exactly what that is i will hasten there i, w I won't you know i will not make up time for that to delay that homecoming that i'm so looking forward to because 
I know now that it is a real possibility to enter into that in this lifetime, in this life that I live. You know, it's perfectly uh, working out in that sense. It is the right moment to decide for that. So we've been bombarded with that today, for sure, absolutely. And and in a very lovely way, you know, it's like, yeah, but it is it is like, whoa, that is that is quite something, you know, to be overwhelmed with an invitation to let go and to go home. Like, really, what are you valuing here that is better than a harmonious voice that speaks to you and helps you out of every trial and situation? Seeing that there's a whole different way of living altogether that will bring you joy. Here's a good one, too, to relative, uh, to, to put it in relation. God is not in you. God is not in you. You are part of Him. It's like you're a wave in the ocean. So you're not the ocean, but you're a wave in the ocean. God is not in you, but you are part of Him. When you willed to leave Him, talking about the separation, He gave you a voice to speak for Him because He could no longer share His knowledge with you f without hindrance. And this, this voice then is, is, is the Holy Spirit's voice. So it, he gave you a voice. He literally gave a voice to speak for him. So you were always safe. Like the, there was an, there was an, something was given you, even when you said like, oh, I want to be separate from God, however crazy that idea was. But then at the same time, it, like your loving father gave you a voice with you. So you would not get lost. You know, you you have nightmares that you have been lost. And, and all kinds of things seem to have happened. But the voice is still there. If you decide to listen to it, it is just speaking to you all the time. The voice of the Holy Spirit does not command because it is incapable of arrogance. The voice for God is always quiet because it speaks of peace. Mm. The voice for God is always quiet because it speaks of peace. And yet peace is stronger than war because it heals. War is division, not increase. And no one gains from strife. What profiteth a man if he gain the world, the whole world, and lose his own soul? This means that if he listens to the wrong voice, he has lost sight of his soul. He cannot lose it, but he cannot know it. It is therefore lost to him until he chooses right. The Holy Spirit is your guide in choosing. Well, that is about as clear as it can be, isn't it? Like the Holy Spirit is, is your possibility to choose right. You just have to ask for it. Like, yes, I need guidance in this. I really need some help here. And I want to receive that for myself. And in that, in that receiving, I can share it. Because it is a shared um, voice. It is a shared knowledge that comes to you. It's, yeah... So it is it is a healing voice. And how does it manifest? How does it manifest in your life? How does that look? Do you suddenly feel that you're being guided to do something, to share something? Or do you feel suddenly that you're supported by it? Like the other day? You know, like did you feel are you feeling supported to share something or to completely feel supported and have an opportunity to to live that. So that's really where we come together for, to experience that and to see, yes, I can trust that voice. Oh my God, it's actually speaking to me. I had no idea. I forgot it for a moment. 
or here it is again now finally I can breathe because I don't have to decide for myself N just in the right moment just be before I got all these decisions to make in the next couple of weeks I have all these dis yeah, decisions to make and now I have a guide who can actually help me with that maybe some things don't even need to be decided they're actually already clear or who knows how this will take place so from my own experience it is like to give your situation over to the Holy Spirit is really helpful see the only requirement then is that you decide with yourself not to put your hand on it again and try to control the situation it's like no I hand it over I even write it on a piece of paper I write Holy Spirit a letter it's like well this is my situation I have no idea how to get out of this or how to deal with this or how to look at this um, hereby I, I declare that I give this to you and I will not touch it again you know I, I hand it over not to take it again but being guided in how to get out of this situation that I think I'm in I would love to have that healing take place so and it's it's like okay so call it an honest prayer or like handing over of all your concerns putting that on the altar this is really um, the possibility now too for you to share something about that with us here together so and whether you're listening or whether you're speaking it really does not matter we support each other no matter what you know it's like yeah it really does not matter you can count on me I will listen to you I will not respond or react so unless I feel moved to but absolutely supporting one another in this is is the greatest healing possibility for all of us so this is our practice this is our little laboratory you know so th that's why we're going to start within a moment and um, so thank you so much for letting yourself be introduced to the voice for god and um, thank you so much for being here